it's Lee from ColoringQueen.net and I want to show you the Spectrum Noir Colorista range of pencils. Now these were specially developed for adult colorists that are just entering the colouring market and want to get some pencils so that they can get started with their hobby. They also have a Colorista range of markers and also little pads that you can colour in with all different sorts of themes and types in those. So let's have a look at the pencils. There are six sets of pencils. So I've got three of them. There's another three in the range. And in each packet there's eight pencils. You can see what colours they are from the little colour palette picture on each set of pencils there. So in total, there's only 48 pencils in this range. So they're great to get started with when you're just starting out in adult colouring. So each pencil comes with a little plastic tray inside the little box. And it's quite a sturdy little plastic tray. They come pre-sharpened and they're roughly about 15, 16 centimetres long from the end to the barrel. Now they do have the name of the company on here in silver, but they don't actually have a pencil number or name, so that can make it a little bit difficult trying to remember which pencil that you might have used on a particular picture. So what I would do is just uh, give them all a number and put it on a, a little sticky thing around the edge there, and then that way you'll remember the numbers. So let's have a look at them up against other pencils. So I have a few other pencils here to have a look at. So I've got in the same sort of price range and style of pencil, I've got the Faber-Castell Classic, I've got the Crayola, and I've got a Colleen, and I've got a Marco Refine. Now these are wax-based, so they're like the Colleen pencil. They're not oil-based, they're wax-based, so it makes them very soft and very easy to colour with. So size-wise, let's have a look up against the Colleen. You can see that they're roughly about the same size. Sturdier barrel, and the barrel's bigger than the Crayola, and it's got the whole of the barrel is coloured in the actual pigment of the pencil. Now that pigment is sort of pretty close, but it doesn't really match the barrel, so you always have to do a colour swatch, and I'll show you mine in a minute. And we can see how well centred the core is up against the others. Now the Refine, we can't see the core because they tip the top of the barrel, but if the core is really centred, it means that your pencil will sharpen easily. That'll avoid any breaks, etc. So it's pretty well centred, but that one's a little bit skewed. And this one is far better centred. So it always makes it easier to sharpen our pencils. They also come in sets of set one, set two, and set three. So it's a bit unusual that they've called them just set and they haven't named the pencils because this company does name and brand individual pencil sets for their other colours. So they have a higher end range called Colour Blend and in that range they do name the sets like Seascape and things like that. It makes it easier I think to remember a name rather than a number. So we've got our lovely pencils there. So let's see how well they sharpen and how well they colour. So they do have a colour chart and you can see the full colour chart on my blog. This is the colour chart that I've done just for the individual sets of pencils, just with one rough layer over it. And you can see because the pencils aren't numbered, you really do have to keep them in the right order if you don't name them yourself. So I would go through and actually give these a name or a number and write that to correspond with the colour chart, otherwise you might forget which pencil it is that you're using on your picture. So there's my colour swatch just for the three sets. So let's have a look at set three and we'll give it another go over with the pencil so that you can see how well it works. 
And they go on very soft and creamy. You do get quite a lot of pigment coming out. So I just did one light layer to start with on the colour swatch so that you guys could see what they're like going on. And I don't have anything underneath the surface of my table, like a bit of paper which is picking up the grain of my table. I'll just change that because the grain on my filming table is coming through on the picture, so that's better. So you can see that just by very quickly colouring, getting quite a lot of pigment out, and it is very soft, even though they're wax based. In using all the, the Spectrum Noir pencils, I haven't had any wax bloom. So I'll try the pink. So the wax bloom is that little dust that you often get and you've got to brush it away or otherwise it ends up in your picture. Now I have coloured quite a few pictures with these pencils since I received them from Spectrum Noir. And as yet, I haven't experienced the wax bloom or the wax dust. Now maybe I haven't coloured enough or done enough layers, but or maybe they just don't put out um, as much dust as my Prismacolors do. So you can see just going over the second time with the pink, how much more colour is coming out. What impressed me most was the yellow. I used this on the picture. Usually a lighter yellow like this one takes a little bit of pushing sometimes to get the colour out and I'm getting quite a lot of yellow just by very lightly going over it which I was quite impressed with. So we can see the yellow on the second layer there. So let's give them a sharpen and see how they perform. Now everyone always has their favourite sharpness and I do have quite a selection but this one, my Stedler one, is my current favourite one. So we'll see how it goes with sharpening the pencils. I haven't needed to sharpen these since. So we're coming off in one lovely curl which is good and really fine point there after just one turn in the sharp. So pretty impressed with the sharpening. Now Spectrum Noir do make their own sharpener but I don't have it and most people will know I'm very attached to my cheap little Stedler even though I have all the fancy ones. So let's see how it goes erasing. We'll just put down a little bit of a darker colour here and see how it goes. So that's some purple there and I'm going to use my Faber-Castell eraser. I'll try the red side, coming off super easy. I'll try my plastic eraser. This one is from Lyra. And again, coming off reasonably well, the Faber-Castell so far is the winner. I'll try the blue end of the Faber-Castell now. And that's coming off quite nicely too. And that's just cheap copy paper, by the way. So I don't want to go too far in case I go through the paper. And my favourite eraser, which is the Tombow Mono, the sand eraser. And as usual, my sand eraser is the clear winner, followed by the Faber-Castell red part. So erasing is quite easy to do. I didn't apply a lot of pressure there because it's only on cheap copy paper. So let's have a look at the blending components of it. Now I did this little picture the other day and most people know I'm no colorist but I gave, gave this little picture a shot. It's the cover picture from this little Spectrum Noir product which is the Colorista uh, pads and they've got gold foil on them and there's 16 pages in there. I actually really like these. I've been using them a lot. So I've used up you know, maybe half a pad full of actually going through them. So they're actually quite good and I like this smaller size, nice and handy. I did this picture and I went over it just with the Colorista pencils and I didn't uh, use any blending products or anything like that. So I wanted to show you guys uh, how to blend with the Colorista pencils. So there's a number of ways that you can blend. You can, of course, use a blending pencil and that needs to be a wax-based blending pencil because these are wax-based pencils. 
or you can use a blending stump which is just those paper things so these are blending stumps these are just cheap ones from the discount shop Spectrum Noir does make their own as well or you can use a blender pen so I'm going to show you first of all how to use the blending stumps so I've got a blending stump here now they do get a little bit dirty on the end they're just paper basically compressed so when they get a little bit dirty you can sharpen them by sticking them in the, the pencil sharpener and you'll sometimes notice that you get bits that stand up and are jagged like that so you can run them across some sandpaper or do what I do which is the easy method I've just got a nail file here one of those cardboard emery boards that you buy in a packet I'm always breaking my nails so just use the emery board and I basically just sand it down or you can sand it onto a piece of paper as well so it's just like a vigorous manicure for your blending stump and my goal is just basically to get rid of the pigment that's on the end of the blending stump so it doesn't transfer colour over to other parts of the picture I want to work on. We'll sand it down. Now because the pencils are wax based they do blend super easy so just grabbing your blender stump you can just come in and go over wherever you've coloured just to soften it down and smoothly blend in all the areas. You can see a bit of colour coming off on the pigment there because we're blending it through. Now when you change colours obviously either sand off the dirty bit part or use the other end of your stump. So these leaves I used quite a few colours on and it's just going over that softly just to blend it all through make sure there's no pencil marks. Now you can also do your blending with a white pencil but there wasn't a white pencil in the set that I had so I just wanted to use products that I had and the problem with using a white pencil sometimes is that you tint the colour, you make it lighter rather than blending it. So we can see that we've got a little bit of pigment on each bit so I'll give that a clean. So I'll show you another way that you can do your blending and that's by using a product like Gamsol or Baby Oil if you don't have it and using that, applying that with your blending stump. So Spectrum Noir do make a Gamsol solution as well but this is just one that I've got that I bought from the local art shop and I use it to, with all pencils etc. So just dip your stump into your Gamsol and go over the area where you want to blend it in a bit. So this uh, red colour here looks a bit scratchy still and what Gamsol does is basically it melts it and it makes it smooth out. Now I've probably put a little bit too much there on but you can always dab that up with a Kleenex and see how much smoother that is just by putting the Gamsol on. Then the final way I want to show how you can blend with the Colorista pencils is by using the Spectrum Noir blender pen. This is from their Color Blend range. It has a small nib on one end. It's basically full of blending solution. You can refill these and it's got a chisel nib one end and a fine nib the other end. Now this area on her breast there it's quite large so you see chisel nib and what it does is it just smooths it out now you can use these blending pens by the way on any wax based pencils and I have quite a few of them different brands etc that I'm, I use to smooth out lines and you can see how that's just melting it away all those little rough pencil marks because I only did one layer of uh, pencils on here with just a couple of different colours. I didn't do a lot of layers. It's all smoothing out on the tooth of the paper. So it's basically just like the Gamsol. It's sort of melting it down. Now if it was a smaller area I'd use the fine nib on the 
other side of the pen to do that but because this is a large area this large chisel nib will make short work of blending this all up and you can see it all melting away all those little lines that are showing through now the other thing is that you can apply the blending pen first uh, over an area and then color over it uh, to get a different sort of blending effect as well now that does tend to work better with the alcohol markers but you can do it with pencils as well and so there we have it our little blended birdie with a couple of different ways there of how you can blend you need to clean off this pen because it'll pick up little bits of colour on the nib and you don't want that transferring to your next masterpiece. So the way you do that is just sort of roll it around to where the dirty bit is onto the paper until it comes up clean. So I'm just sort of pressing it around like that until it comes up nice and clean that the pigment is just the clear colour so otherwise we'll pick up different colours. So there we have it, our colorista pencils with some tips on how to blend with your colorista pencils. Until next time, happy colouring.